human beings have been created by Allah and all the objectives and all the qualities that make a human being human is what exists in man and woman equally. I have created humans in order that they worship me, in order that they serve me. Allah mentions man and woman also in the Quran as a gender. But the gender is created by Allah or made by Allah for procreation. That's the purpose of gender. The Quran is Allah's book, but Arabic is man-made language. So it has its own limitations and restrictions. And one of the restrictions regarding that is that whenever uh, you want to speak to a crowd of mixed male and female, you use the male pronoun. You use the male form of the verb. That's why this misconception comes about that Allah is speaking to men only. Or he's only talking in the masculine gender. Hawa, Eve, was made from the left rib of Adam. This notion is not a notion that is held by Ahlul Bayt. It is not a notion that is held by us. It is a notion that is held by Sunnis that is gotten, you can see from the Old Testament and the New Testament, it came down from there. But uh, Ahlul Bayt have rejected this. And this is based on an ayat of the Quran in which Allah uh, says, and this is in Surah An-Nisa, the first ayat of Surah An-Nisa. So this ayat is used and misinterpreted to say that, well, Allah made Adam and from Adam he made Hawa, Eve. But obviously this is rejected by the Imams and I'll share the Hadith with you, but also from the Quran itself. It is from the signs of Allah that he has created from you your wives. So now, did he create your wife literally from you, from a part of you, took something out from you and made your wife? No, it's not. And we all know that. That's not the case. What it means is that he has created from the same material from the same substance that he has created you he has created her meaning that you both are human beings hadith from imam sadiq salam, that is from um, a person who was a close companion of the imam by the name of zurara uh, went to the imam and asked him regarding this issue he said that uh, what do you say about what these people are saying regarding the creation of eve from the rib of adam what do you say about that and imam with with all being bothered by this notion, right away says, you know, glory be to God, Allah is greater than this. And may Allah judge between these people and us, meaning us, Ahlul Bayt, and these people, that these people, they interpret the Quran without referring to us, Ahlul Bayt, in whose house the Quran was revealed. Allah gave the knowledge of the Quran to us, and instead of asking us and, and, and getting to know the actual meaning from us, they go and create their own tafsir of the Quran and they create lies after that. So with that introduction and, and prelude, he goes on to say that Allah created Adam from mud and then commanded the angels to prostrate before him. And then when the angels prostrated before him, then Allah after that, uh, put Adam to sleep and made Hawa from the same mud that was there, the leftover mud. Half of it he used for Adam, half of it he used for Hawa, and then he created Hawa from there, and then both of them met. The Hadith goes on to say other things regarding how they met, how they fell in love, and all of that. Imam Jafar Sadiq explained that in detail, but the idea was that they were made from different muds. Imam Bakr says that Allah made Hawa from the leftover mud that he made Adam from so that there could be an inclination and attraction between these two.